Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the gold forecast here. It is November the 2nd. This is election day, midterm election day here in the United States. It is approximately 9 o'clock here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Tuesday, this is the daily report. Gold currently trading up approximately $5 this morning, trading at $1,356.33. Predominant change is not due to buying today. There's actually some selling pressure. Market selling down about $3.80, but the push pull of the US dollar, a weakening US dollar, is giving it about $9 in strength, therefore a $5 gain. On today's report, we're going to talk about the fact that we do have the QE, the quantitative easing announcement, which is awaited for tomorrow. We'll discuss that all here on today's daily report. Traders, as you know, we have been in our long position in gold. We did trail our stop up yesterday to 1343, roughly in this area here. My rationale behind that move was with quantitative easing announcement in the marketplace, if we get uh, any kind of reaction, that is adverse to the uh, upside of gold, let's, let's just put it that way. I don't want to be caught in uh, a parabolic sell-off or, or anything like that. I personally don't think that's going to happen. Now, the reason for placing it is when we look at, uh, I consider these areas right in here to be my basic support areas, the resistance in this area, whenever I look at support and resistance, I tend to look at report and resistance as a ceiling if I'm on the first floor and a floor if I'm on the second floor. In other words, support and resistance are always going to be that same point. It's really the vantage point. When you're above it, it becomes support. When you're below it, it becomes resistance. So that these points of resistance should become support. So for that reason, I did recommend that we place it, as I said, at 13 43, my recommendation is going to be to hold tight with that, keep our stop there for right now. I want to see how the market reacts. It does seem, though, that, that the market does want to move higher. We get these nice surges up. This, of course, happened on the 29th through the 31st. At that point, it formed somewhat of a base. This is that sell-off that we witnessed the other day. Uh, when the market did come down $10, but as you can see, it went ahead, it formed a base, and then it started actively trading to the upside, coming down just a little bit with a low uh, 1350 right in here, and as I said, is currently up right now approximately 5 to $6 higher. Traders, this is a weekly chart of Forex Gold. You've seen the weekly chart before, but I don't believe, traders, that you've actually seen this particular wave count as it's a wave count that I've been working on. And it's our longer wave count, of course. This is the weekly wave count, but it also shows us right now that we are, in fact, in the fifth wave. Now, we've had this extended, extended wave count, this number five wave, and you might want to say, well, when the market traded up in this area and then came back down, wouldn't we consider that the beginning of a correction? Well, one of the rules with Elliott Wave is that these lows here cannot trade into the range of that prior wave count now. So that if we look at this, this is that top of wave three here. As the marketplace itself trades higher, it does come down, but as we can clearly see, because it trades within that range, we still have this wave fully intact. Now, we did get this small retracement. Now, this retracement is where we're going in on our daily from wave three to wave four. But as you can see, it is still fully intact. But here's the thing. The fact that we have a final wave count on the weekly like this and on our dailies lends me to believe that this rally is going to be the last rally until we see a correction in the market. Now, does that make me believe that the market is, is headed lower or that I'm no longer bullish on gold? Absolutely not. Wave counts in a bullish market have five waves called the impulse. Those are our upside with 
three to the upside, two to the downside, and our correction has two to the downside, A and C, and then our B, of course, goes in the primary direction of the trend. That is to say, I believe that this is probably going to be our last rally of the year, but I personally am looking for $1,500 gold over time. $1,600 gold actually over time, but I think that we'll see $1,500 gold probably next year. Let's see what we get when we see what the Fed wants to do tomorrow, and that of course is the, the, uh, the quantitative easing announcement. We do have the U.S. dollar under pressure, and realize traders that Everybody's really awaiting that uh, Federal Reserve meeting. It started today, it ends tomorrow. And to see if the Fed will announce tomorrow afternoon uh, quantitative easing measures, which are going to, of course, boost the U.S. economy. Right now, traders have been looking at what we call uh, moderate stabs in the market, meaning that they'll probably inject about, the talk is 500 billion, but the total focus in terms of what the belief is uh, in terms of how much capital will go into the market, the number that I've heard is, is anywhere between 1 and 1 1.5 trillion starting with this 500 billion tomorrow. We'll have to see what happens itself. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>